Stocks uh, took a hit on the heels of disappointing earnings reports from the PC maker Dell and home builder D.R. Horton. For more details, let's go to Michelle Steele at the New York Stock Exchange. Michelle. Hey, Pim. And that was despite some late day buying on Friday and that uh, helped the major averages pair losses somewhat, but just not enough to land us in positive territory, quite frankly. Uh, the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq all ending the day lower, the third straight lower day, by the way, this week. Now, for the week, the Dow rose about half a percentage point, while the Nasdaq fell about a percent and the S&P dropped about two tenths of a percentage point. Now, as for sector winners on Friday, healthcare led among 10 industry groups on the S&P, the Merck actually giving the uh, biggest lift to the sector and to the Dow Jones overall. The drug maker saying a committee at the European Medicines Agency recommended approval of Elanva as a treatment in an assisted reproductive technology program, and that helped offset some of the weakness we saw in the energy space today. Crude oil falling again as the dollar index continues to strengthen here. Otherwise, earnings weighed on U.S. stocks. Quarterly numbers from Dell and D.R. Horton, as you mentioned, trailing analyst estimates. Dell actually sliding 10 percent after posting profit that fell by more than half. Uh, consumer staple stocks, though, did have some bright spots. J.M. Smucker's won. Second quarter earnings there, excluding some items, uh, were $1.22 a share, beating estimates as sales of Folgers coffee helped boost revenue. And just to put all of this in perspective, by the way, per share earnings for corporations overall topping the average analyst estimate at 80 percent of S&P 500 companies that have released third quarter results thus far. Combined profits, though, are down 14 percent from the same period a year ago, Pim. So that's a very quick look at uh, stocks on Friday as well as for the week. Back over to you. Thank you very much. Michelle Steele reporting.